Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick um, in-depth guide. Just, we're just going to tackle the important part of the guide. So here is uh, my fourth account. Um, I made a fourth account for just for demonstration to demonstrate what to buy on Aban after you reach Aban. So let's go to the blacksmith here. Um, here's the blacksmith. So what we're going to buy first uh, after we reach Aban is of course um, the simple katana that costs you 561 pieces of gold. So we can't buy it now. We only have 255 pieces of gold. Um, that's after we reach Aban. So don't forget to get the chest around Aban, guys. The gold chest to uh, get your gold uh, fast. Also, don't forget to uh, get the side quest because it gives you all, it gives also a gold uh, reward. So anyway, let's just focus on here. So our main four equipments on Avan. So after you done all the side quests on Avan here guys, um, you will eventually get all uh, these four equi uh, required equipment here um, on Avan. So the first one is most importantly is the simple katana. That's the first one you will want to buy. The second would be um, if you can reach uh, this amount, 200. 96 pieces of gold or 300 um, buy this blessed shield uh, mainly because of your uh, of its armor this blessed uh, wooden shield guys so it's important to have an armor early in the game for uh, Vaso uh, before you fight Vaso like I said in my first uh, beginner's guide, beginner's guide. Um, second would be a uh, second would be the shield and the third and fourth would be the slash chain mail and the chain pants that's the two piece right here so the slash chain mail cost 117 pieces of gold and the chain pants would cost you 140 pieces of gold so you you can eventually uh, have this much gold in total when you've done all the side quests here on Aban especially the master the hunt because <coughs> it gives uh, more XP and gold uh, when you uh, finish all the master the hunt side quest so that's the important uh, uh, four pieces of equipment here on Avan when you reach it and then for abilities guys um, as you can see I didn't spend this my three points of ability so it's for um, conjure guys uh, I save your uh, points your ability points um, then when you um, unlock the conjure ability on level 12, you, you can just you can then you can spend your um, save points, your ability save points on to max your conjure. Like I said on my early um, beginner's guide. After that, after your you max your conjure, um, you can upgrade your bite ability. And when you unlock uh, the fortify on level 18. Um, you can stop um, adding points on your bike and then go on and max your 45 when you unlock 45 on level 18 okay so in, after you max your 45 let's say you, you max your 45 go back on bike max it after that go to the next thing you'll uh, max would be the bat swarm and then the magic um, we, uh, the mage build will be complete. You just need to conjure the bat swarm, bat swarm bite, and fortify for um, mage build ability. Next would be you can just go for petrify or fracture. It doesn't really matter what you um, get next when you max the four um, important abilities on mage build. That's the conjure bat swarm, uh, fortify, and bite. So that's it for abilities guys and for bloodlines um like um i'm going just i'm just going to explain uh, the bloodlines on my third account um that's also an experimental account okay let's just switch on my um third account so this is my um third account it's also an experimental account so we have finished the um which master here and we are already on the second continent or the second map 
so this account is also level just level 7 I just reached level 71 earlier I, I mean 61 <laughs> and let's proceed on our bloodline so this is what we're going to get on our bloodline per level level up so from starting to level 1 to level 60 um, this character like 61 or let's say 61 from level 1 to 61 this is what what you want to get uh, what you want to build your uh, how to build your bloodline um, guys <laughs> so first is um, you want you would want to max your experience fever um, this is the experience fever to uh, to max that's add 10 points to level it to max and then get this extra packet to have an extra potion craft uh, a crafting potion and also the backpacker um, it's not a waste of points since it's only it only um, needs one point to upgrade to max because you you will really need the extra packet here for your um, for to craft your bloodstone your free bloodstone so that's important also the backpack um, the backpacker um, to unlock an extra um, inventory on your a potion inventory on your inventory so it doesn't hurt you when you just you add one point on the backpacker okay guys so that's it for uh this it after you max the experience fever and get these two next thing you want to do is um go to vitality bloodline and then you want to max this one so this arcane damage by doing that you need to add five points on arcane armor and then when you level up just add arc um add points on arcane damage every time you level up guys up to 20 points that's when you max the arcane damage to uh, 120 percent damage increase there you go and after you max the arcane damage um the next step you want to do is add 10 points on each of these three so add 10 points there so first is the improved focus so you need to add 10 points here then after you have 10 put 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 10 points on improved focus you go and add a, the, another 10 points on improved focus regen okay and then after that um, add 10, 10 points on focus mind every time you level up okay so after you put 10 points on this um, tree here you can go and max this uh, bloodline here the arcane mastery to, uh, to max so you just you need another 20 points to upgrade your arcane mastery to max okay and then after that don't forget to add two points on your vampiric touch um, it's not necessary but it's a good um, thing to have okay so after that after we max our arcane damage let's go on our anger bloodline okay so what we want to do here is to um, upgrade this hard precise hitter to max but before that you need to put like i think it's eight points here to unlock the hard precise heater but either way you just up upgrade this uh, precise heater to max and then go back to precise heater and uh, put 20 points here to upgrade it to max okay after you put after you after we max this um, two, uh, two bloodlines here on anger we can go back to uh, you can go back here on this hit and upgrade uh, this shield mastery to max and range defender but what I did after I finish this, I acted, I mastered this to uh, bloodline ability on anger. I go back to vitality bloodline and then I max the improved focus. That's a total of plus 50 max focus right here. Okay, after that, I, I just um, add two points every time I level uh, on these two um, ability. Uh, I mean, bloodline, the refreshing combo. So after you max this uh, the max focus, um, every time you level up, add two points on each of this um, ability. Uh, I mean bloodline. 
the, the refreshing combo and the improved uh, fragile focus eventually you will max this uh, all this and then after you max um, these three here but importantly first to upgrade this to max the max focus so anyways after you max this three um puts um just put 16 points on focus mine okay guys so after you after you um put 16 points on focus mine after after that that's when you want to go to um upgrading your shield mastery to max and then your range defender to max and then after that that's when you go we're going to upgrade our greater dodge and then our dodging tech okay so right now we're level 61 and that's when we unlock our two points on refreshing dodge that's four points and after you get level like 70 or i think it's level 70 to, to, to really upgrade your dodging rate so that's the last thing you would want to upgrade this greater dodge and dodging uh, death after that mm, maybe add uh, max this arcane power armor and add one points here but i'm just level 73 on my main account so my bloodline ability is really similar to this one this level 61 so the only difference is um like i have i max this arcane armor and already max the greater dodge and i have the dodging that to max also on my level 73 uh, main account <coughs> so uh, by the way on the legendary bloodline um on my main account i have put one vampiric bat vampiric bats put one points on vampiric bats and then to my hungry um legendary bloodline i put i think like five points and then the remaining points i put on the tank so i'm I'm planning to max the tank to increase my HP so to increase my survivability on my main account so that's it on my on our the explanation on the bloodline and for the our inventory of course like I said on my first um, beginner's guide uh, don't forget to buy the sanguine dark it's a legendary dagger it's from Kamen Grad, so it only cost 7,400 uh, 477 uh, 4,744 I mean <laughs> so just buy that when you reach the amount and it will help you increase your damage output on your magic because it has critical damage and a spell damage um, this dagger and it's also cheap what the last thing you want to buy would be the soul curse dagger that's on this um, map or continent um, but it's like it's here the last uh, town the mangrove hut so that's the last dagger you want to buy it's for spell um, it's for mage build um, you want to buy on on your mage build that soul curse dagger so just an update on uh, our inventory our equipment um, my cape is in Desi's vein. That's because it's for also for item drop for farming gold. My ring is Duke ring. Um, you can buy it on East Haven. Also, my cal uh, the calamity ring, you can uh, necklace. Yeah, you can also buy this from East Haven. And the lesser Duke ring, also from East Haven. But I think I bought the lesser Duke ring on. Um, this uh, wood woodland market. I think there's a duke ring also there. You can find a wood ring, um, duke ring. So this um, piece of equipment here, this one, this one's. This is actually free from um, the mobs. Um, the other parts I get from being, uh, defeating the uh, brutals. So like I said on my first um, guide, um, after I finish um, the witch master, I, I, that's when I began to hunt the brutals. So I finished the first um, brutal. The 
was silver brutal I think at the bronze brutal I finished the bronze brutal and you can do the brutals again after you finish the brutal but I'm not doing it right now so my next focus is would be I'm clearing clearing all this um, map right here the second continent trying to reach the end part of the of this map to buy buy the soul curse dagger so it would be an easy run for me up to painful uh, difficulty that's the painful difficulty the rebirth the first rebirth up to probably horror my main account is on horror on uh, last map also on the second continent so i'm just trying to grind there so i don't know what to do yet so that's why i created this third um um, account for an experiment so I think that's it for this um, quick tu tutorial guys <laughs> it's not really that quick because um, you know we're not really good on English but anyways we finished the um, in-depth tutorial so that's don't forget to buy <laughs> the sanguine deck guys okay um, to replace your simple katana and then when you get all this equipment like it's free you can replace 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 uh, your remaining equipment <laughs> the, the four the like i mentioned earlier the uh four equipment the import for four important equipment we, we uh, from avan okay so that's it guys from this um for this video and i hope you like it and thank you for the love and support guys and see you next time bye